Good morning, Year 7. Good day, good afternoon, whatever, when you open this. Um, I'm going to do the friction prac for you today. Well, I'm going to do it, but you're going to take down the results. Basically, I'm going to take this block of wood and I'm going to drag it along different surfaces to see what effect friction has on the force. It, like the force required to pull it along. So I'm going to use this horse meter. It's got a little hook on it and got my phone to show you measurement. When I hook it on and drag it along, you can see we get a little, the numbers change. So that is the amount of newtons, the force that is required to pull this, pull this block of wood along a surface. It's negative because it's a pulling force. If I was pushing, like, look, if I push on this, it goes up, right? Now, okay, so the first one we'll do, first surface is my desk, which is a laminate. So write down what you will about the smoothness of the laminate surface. So I'm going to pull it along, and you have to watch these numbers and take down the measurement or the newtons that the kind of the most consistent number you see because it's going to fluctuate a fair bit but get an approximate okay all right so here we go hooking it on and pulling all right great take down an approximate that's for laminate next surface oh. i've clamped it on yeah anyway next surface this is like a black rubbery type thing. I, I just call it rubber. I call it rubber. So you got right down rubber. Now I'm going to take my force meter, hooked it on. So no taking, don't take any readings yet. Take the reading when I'm dragging it. Okay, ready? Okay. That was a very different number to the laminate. So take that down and make any observations that you like. I'm just going to uh, clamp my next one on. Okay, so the next surface is like this carpet type thing. It's, it's carpet, but it's like a weird carpet. So I have this carpet to try next, which is really got lots of fibers. But this carpet is kind of more smooth and consistent. So write down, I don't know, smooth carpet, I guess. All right. So you can see the measurements. Hooking it on and dragging. All right. Write down the newtons it took to drag this block of wood along this smooth carpet. And we're back with a new surface. So this is carpet, but it's like the rough, bubbly carpet. All right, let's see how much force it takes to drag this one along. Or how much, yeah. So you're looking at the friction. So the higher the force it takes, the higher the newtons, the higher the friction, basically. Okay. And done. Take down your measurement for bubbly rough carpet. All right. The next surface is just some cardboard. It's stuck on a piece of wood just for ease of use, but it's, it's, it's just cardboard. So you can write down cardboard, make a hypothesis as to if you think it's going to be higher or lower than the other surfaces. And pulling. All right. Cardboard. Okay, now we have some ply, which is basically wood. So you can write down plywood for this surface. And pulling. 
All right. So that was the force it took to drag a block along a piece of ply. If you don't know what ply is, look it up and you can... Hang on. Okay, so ply is just a piece of wood. Pretty smooth. Not much to it. All right, and finally, I just got a bit excited and tried to find another surface. These silicon bench mats, which you're probably familiar with from using as a heat mat in prax. It's uh, not smooth, it's got like lumps and stuff, so, you know, make your hypothesis about how much friction that's going to cause based on the surface area and surface of it, the feel. All right, let's do this. Got our Newton measurement. Ready? Woo! All done. I hope you had a great time measuring friction of different surfaces. And I hope you've written down all your results. Okay, bye.